If you have a microphone that doesn't have a built-in mute on it, such as the Razer Kraken Pro, which I'm using right now, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, I don't want to go to every application that I use for communication and have to click mute when I don't want people to hear what I don't want them to hear. Um, and I have a convenient solution that I looked into a while ago known as Mic Mute. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to bind keyboard shortcuts or mouse shortcuts, if you have like a Razer Naga or something along those lines, uh, to muting the mic and uh, or a device, a recording device for that matter with a simple press of a keyboard button. Anyways, uh, so like I was saying, once you install it, I'll have a link in the description. It's hosted on um, uh, Google Pro... what was it? It's Google Code, that's it. Uh, it'll come up like this, and it's very basic, but it's really, really useful. Uh, I have to give credit to the person who made it. Um, and you'll just see uh, some tabs. The most useful ones are devices and options. Devices, you get to select the device that your... Um, that you currently want to use. So for me, I only have one, so really there's only one choice, and I check that off. Then next, under options, you have the ability to just mute the microphone right now and here if you really want to. And then the next one's a bit interesting. I would never use it, but it's a bit interesting in that when you select this, uh, the keyboard shortcut that you have set up, or mouse again shortcut that you have set up, will allow you to um, only transmit voice when you actually press those uh, buttons down. And when you release them, um, it will no longer transmit, so it's kind of inverted in a way. Um, next under that is set up shortcuts. This actually lets you uh, set up the shortcut that I was mentioning. Uh, you can press one or two keys on the keyboard, etc., etc., and uh, then you can click OK when that's done. Uh, one or two again. One of those keyboards, like the coarse hair with all the extra buttons, could be useful in this situation. Uh, and then under that, you'll see notifications, and this basically just brings up a taskbar notification down here whenever you mute or don't mute the mic, but it only stays there for a little while and disappears. Uh, next are really useful settings. You can have it start muted. I don't, but, uh, and then you can have the program automatically start. I always choose to have it automatically start because I don't want to run the program every time. And then when you close out, and you actually exit the program, it'll save your settings, and then you want to open it again, and your settings will still be there and ready to go uh, for every time you shut off and start your computer. Anyway, so I'm just going to give you a quick example of how it works. I'm going to press the keyboard shortcut that I have after saying a few things, so here we go. Mm -hmm. out of breath now. Okay, um, so as you can see, it says microphone on. It gives you the little notification that I have set up, like I was saying, and it lets you know when you've muted the mic and when you haven't, and you can see that I absolutely lost uh, communication with you right there. Anyways, I hope you find that useful if you have something similar to this, um, and so on and so forth. Review is coming soon on this headset, by the way. Anyways, good day. Thanks for watching.